Okay, so today we'll be doing some limits. It's also a subcat subcategory of calculus. Pretty easy. So limits. So the first question of this category says that find the limit. Find the limit of x squared plus 3x divided by 2x squared minus 5 as x becomes becomes infinite so now we write this problem as limit x approaches infinity of x square plus 3x divided by 2x squared minus 5 so to solve this problem we don't directly s substitute the value of x that would be infinity divided by infinity and that's not how you solve problems in calculus so this is a different way of solving maths so so how you solve this problem is first you have to divide all these terms all these terms with x squared this this term so you have to divide all of those terms with x squared so limit x approaches infinity x squared divided by x squared plus 3x divided by x squared and divide that whole by 2x squared divided by x squared minus 5 divided by x squared so after simplifying this becomes limit x approaches infinity 1 plus 3 divided by x divided by 2 minus 5 divided by x squared so after this we substitute the value of uh, limit or we substitute the limit here we put the limits there so now this becomes 1 plus limit x approaches infinity 3 by x 2 minus limit x approaches infinity 5 by x squared so after substituting the limits we can substitute the value of x as infinity and also keep in mind that anything divided by anything any number divided by infinity is always zero so now this becomes 1 plus 3 divided by infinity divided by 2 minus 5 divided by infinity squared so uh, so as noted anything in divided by infinity any number or infinity squared is always zero this becomes 1 plus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 which is simply 1 divided by 2 and that's your answer so now for the second problem so now for the second problem in limits we have find the limit limit of x minus 3 divided by root x minus 2 minus root 4 minus x as x approaches in uh, 3 so now we write this problem as limit x approaches 3 x minus 3 divided by root x minus 2 minus root 4 minus x and keep in mind this is actually a square root so yeah so first as you can see the denominator is irrational so we have to rationalize the denominator so i'm all, i'm probably sure that you all know how to rationalize the denominator basically taking the denominator taking this denominator and multiplying this whole term but the sign of uh, the sign 
uh, is interchanged so here it's minus it becomes plus so hence multiplied by x minus 2 plus the sign gets interchanged root 4 minus x and the denominator is also the same So now we multiply both these terms. This becomes x minus 3 multiplied by root x minus 2 plus root 4 minus x divided by. Now we can use the property or the identity for uh, expansion. So we can use this identity a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b so here a will be so a is root x minus 2 and b is root 4 minus x same goes for here so then it becomes root x minus 2 the whole squared minus 4 minus x the whole squared so further solving this after solving uh, both the numerator and the denominator so first we solve the uh, denominator so after solving the denominator so no need to uh, multiply these both first so first we solve we'll solve the denominator then we'll see for the numerator numerator So that then divided by so we solve the denominator so the denominator uh, after the after the calculation it becomes 2x minus 6 so after we find the denominator we can cancel these both like we can cancel x minus 3 but uh, the the denominator will be left as 2 because 2x minus 6 is basically 2x minus 3 so when we cancel both of, both of these x minus 3 and x minus 3 2 is left so hence the answer becomes 4 minus x divided by 2 so now we can substitute the value of x so the value of x is approaching 3 so we um, substitute the value it's 3 minus 2 plus uh, 4 minus 3 divided by 2 so now uh, this becomes root 1 plus root 1 divided by 2 so root 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 divided by 2 equals to 2 divided by 2 which is 1 so that's the final answer. Thank you.